there we go, sorry. It was muted. <laughs> so all the talking I've been doing, none of you have been able to hear. So hi, uh, I'm Mitchell. This is the Gamers Ledge, uh, Legendary Gamers Ledge channel, uh, which is the subsidiary channel to the home Gamers Ledge channel. Um, some of you might be familiar with me as Omega or Alba Taito from the home channel. I have been known to appear on occasion. Uh, this channel is design is a subsidiary to the home channel and is designed to focus on the single player experiences. And thank you for that, sir. I always forget that up and down one. There we go. The movement on that one is really unnatural, that up and down at the same time. Do not smoke the Marlboros. Indeed, very bad for your health. Yes. They also have a chance to make you blind, poison, and give you about every other status condition under the sun. Uh... Oh, now I'm fighting the Haggins. Okay, so some mechanic is Shiva comes out every once in a while to hit things, I suppose. Oh, another Marlboro. Bigger Marlboro. Bankrupt, why did you just go flying? So as I was actually talking about before, you can actually fully customize your party um, in this game, which makes it a little bit different from the Kingdom Hearts variant of the game. Alright. I didn't get the full chain like I was hoping for, but that's alright. We can come back to it. That actually seemed <laughs> very similar to the field music stage, other than it didn't have the sliding note mechanic. Is it gonna push me up again? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, wait. Stage effects that make the little different typical MS. Okay. If, for example, stage effect increases damage you take, it might be a sign of healing. Okay. I see. That makes sense. Torn from the heavens, yeah, I think. Okay, but first we're gonna do hard to miss. Wait, what? Its base difficulty is eight? Oh no, okay. Okay, the quest difficulty for the song as a whole is an eight. I see. So, defeating nine or more enemies is the tricky part. Okay. We'll see if we can do it with the setup we got. Otherwise, I might have to pull in Heaven's Wordy Stola to see if the extra damage there helps. So as you can see, it uses a four track system. These red ones are single button inputs inputs and then the yellow ones you actually use a stick swipe so you actually have to press the sticks in the directions indicated by the uh, arrows and then the greens are tap and hold and then release and I accidentally released on the button I thought I did the input on there uh, so actually release timing is also important in this one 
whereas in the Kingdom Hearts one, it worked a little bit differently, so you didn't really have the the uh, release timing on the held ones. Because you just moved through the points. Because of how the control scheme worked in that one. So how is everybody in chat doing today? Everyone have a good Saturday? Okay. Alright, that's good. We were just doing errands or stuff, or just keep them busy. Okay. Let's... Okay, now check, can y'all still hear me in stream or am I or am I deaf on stream? Okay, cool. Yay! Alright. And I have chat connected to it, so I don't know if they'll be able to hear you or not. Can you guys hear yourselves in the stream or no? Because I don't know how that carries over in the system. Uh, I think it's set to... It's... Ooh, uh, uh, no, the output is set to my headset actually right now. Okay, uh, alright, we might get some weird double feedback there, um, if you guys talk, where do you... Hey, bandit. Oh. oh, okay, you're coming all the way through my TV. <laughs> yeah, uh, let me, uh, not do that. Um, okay, um, da -da -da -da, cause I wonder, okay, so, could I, oh, we actually just launched this today, so this is actually our first time using this, oh, yeah, so this is actually our first time going live with this channel. Um, we actually just put it together not that long ago completely um, with Mark's help. Uh, let's see here. Can I... Options. No, that's not what I wanted. Um... Give me one second while I see if I can get this to... No, that's not what I want. Um...
Okay, I... Yeah, um, so I can't seem to figure out how to get you guys coming from Discord through the stream. Yeah. Um. Thank you. I appreciate it. Alrighty. Um, here, let me do a quick Google search, see what... Uh, this is what's called Theater Rhythm Final Bar Line. So it's actually a Final Fantasy themed... Uh, it's actually a Final Fantasy... Uh, themed rhythm game. So it has a bunch of the different series and uh, stuff from Final Fantasy. So it actually has different tracks from each of the games and even some uh, smaller titles too that are over here that I haven't unlocked yet. And you need to play through the different songs of each of the different games to unlock other games. Um, um, here, I'll run through this stage again quick since I didn't quite get what I wanted out of it and I can show some of that off while we try and figure out so it's a it's a full-on rhythm game so it's a four track rhythm game but all the tracks take the same input so yeah So this is one is specifically what's known as a uh, battle music stage. So it actually is, because this is a battle theme from the game, it actually sets it up in a way where it's a standard battle set, whereas there's the field music uh, ones, which are different, which have slightly different mechanics. And then there's also the boss ones, which seem to also have slightly different mechanics, though I haven't done yet, any of them yet. So I don't know quite how the mechanics change. This one actually kind of snuck out on me and I actually didn't buy it till a couple days ago. Mm-hmm. Um, I used my computer. Because that's... Yeah. Right. Yeah, making sure we're all on the right procedure here and stuff, so yeah. Hey, perfect chain. That's what I was looking for. Did we get the mission? Yeah, so actually how you can do it is all of them take the same input. So for all of my inputs, I'm either hitting circle and then for the double inputs, I'm using L1 and R1 because those are the two buttons I can hit easily easiest on the at the same time rather than two of the face buttons at the same time um but so dang I didn't get nine or more still yep uh, since I unlocked the 14 uh story pack I don't know exactly what they called it but the stages the 14 stages you get for each uh game that you unlock you get a certain number of characters. I don't think it's the same for each one, but these were the ones that were unlocked with um, the release of with the 14 unlock. 
and they gave me two different Ishtolas here, and I think I might need a bit more damage, so I'm gonna swap out the healer Ishtola here. Uh, actually, they did not give me Mentilia. They gave me two Ishtolas, Thancred, Ida, and Alphano. Let's see, can I... Okay. That's a blind cure. Chi Blast. Okay. Um, it doesn't seem like it. It mostly just seems to follow the different tracks of the game, which seem to mirror the story to some extent. Um, which is harder to track with 14, but because these three tracks here are the field music for uh, the three starting zones for 14. Um, which, and then these are the first, like, battle themes you get, so it's um, hard to say exactly. Uh, yes. Okay. I am there. Oh, yeah, no, you can't. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I have that. I have that turned on. Um, cause I know. Uh, cause yeah, if I was like in the Discord, I don't. Maybe. Ooh, I wonder if that's why you're, it's not able to pull you guys in. Cause that setting doesn't exist in the Discord PlayStation Continuum connection there. So since it doesn't, since PlayStation technically doesn't have your permission. I can't pull the audio in. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so I'm guessing some of the attacks have like elemental components. So here, I'm gonna do one of these earlier stages to get Ishtola to some. Let's go with Gridania because Ishtola's two on the cover there. Um, and then we'll throw on one of the gold growth eggs so that she can get a bit more experience than she would otherwise. All right, so this one is one of the field music stages. So it has these uh, slide notes, for lack of a better way to put it, where I actually have to hold the button and then actually move the stick to move the circle to keep with the tract. But like the normal tap inputs, I don't have to move for. They all stay in line with where the last held one holds in. So this one is actually the field music for Gridania in 14, I think. Oh, that was uh, unfortunate. I trusted the tracking on it a little bit too much.
let's let's see what's okay, SSS yeah as long as you get a full chain most of the time you can get the SSS rating okay ooh yay we got stuff for Thancred and Ishtola here oh we also got Phoenix on the summon okay So let's see here, put that arrow in, put the in arrow, thanks, appreciate that. Alright, um, did I get the triple S on this one? I didn't. Here we can get Ishtola a bit more XP on this one too, seeing as how she started out in the Lanoskea area. She got the up and down cross flick this time. Okay. Oh my. Focusing. Oh, long slide. From bounds. All right, here we go. Still holding the criticals. There we go. <laughs> nah, you're good. I'm just focusing. Because imagine that rhythm games require concentration. I sound sick. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> nope, this is just the second channel. Mm-hmm. So I'm planning on probably doing some with Resident Evil 4, but I figured this would be a nice kind of chill game to play on stream. Uh, I think that's just what it auto set us to. Um, Yeah, so it's like theater and then rhythm mixed together. It's in the title there. Uh, T H E A T R H Y T H M. <laughs> Let's see, first try. What about?
What level am I? Oh, uh, 23. Yeah. Twenty-three. Oh wait, did you mean like in the game level? Oh, uh... The characters are averaging about 50, I suppose. Stone. Okay. I have not seen stone be an issue yet. Okay. Um, so we'll start with that set up there. Oh, I should see what's the... Oh, dear. Uh, nope, not what I was going for again. There we go. Alright, let's see. Heavy ice damage, moderate fire damage, it restores HP. We'll keep Shiva for now because we're trying to get a little bit more damage out so we can clear the mission on hard to miss here oh, and also the nice thing yeah so here it should happen in this one so the nice thing is is they're kind of I'm not exactly sure what triggers them it seems to be filled by um, hitting more accurate doohickeys on the more closely to on beat and then some of the characters' abilities actually make it come out faster too. Like one of Alpha No's skills uh, makes it so that every now and then it gets a boost in the in the bar every so at wow can't talk every so often uh, in the song. So Shiva Shiva should show her beautiful little face uh, and a bit here yeah unfortunately I think this is the standardized Shiva it's not the 14 Shiva but I do enjoy I hope that is one of the tracks that we get to do in this one though because the four because the track for uh, Shiva's fight is amazing oh there she is Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are really good tracks. I'm I'm really hoping we get some of the really nice themes. I'm I'm hoping this goes beyond base 14 into some of the expansions, but it's hard to tell just based on the number of tracks. Um, actually, they got a new, um, expansion, oh, I want to say two years ago, a year and a half ago. I don't remember when Endwalker, whenever Endwalker came out. Um, they're currently in the patch content, so they're dropping some of the new dungeons and some of the patch content in between major expansions that they do. I think they're on the... Either a fourth or fifth patch content update coming out soon. Oh, what do you blame me for? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I see. 
<laughs> okay. that one. Demolish. Okay. Um, when does that trigger? Okay. Let's go with that one. And let's go with energy drain to replace his cure. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's defeat two or more Kahing Behemoth enemies. No weaknesses and allies deal double physical damage. Well, I've only got two physical hitters here, but... Let's see what we get out of this. Let's... Yeah. Let's do that anyway. All right, so this is my first boss battle stage, my boss music stage. Yep, or at least it sounded like it was just a little. As with any RPG, they eventually become standard enemies, right? Yep. So yeah, the yellow ones are just flicks of the stick. And if there's two arrows on it, you have to flick both sticks in the directions indicated. So one of the, like the one where it's left and right split, one has to go right, one has to go left. Um, I think it's single player. Um, it, there's a mode that I haven't unlocked yet that, that could be couch co-op or online co-op. It's called multi-battle. But I haven't unlocked it yet, so I'm not quite sure what the functionality of that is yet. But it looks like it could be a uh, multiplayer mode. Um, no, it's just kind of <laughs> whenever. Yeah, so uh, what was asked was uh, if we're going to have a consistent schedule for this channel. And at the moment, we are not planning on having a set consistent schedule for this channel. So keep an eye out for those alerts and announcements for when we're going live if you're interested. Um... Because, yeah, we haven't planned out a set schedule for this one yet. And we probably won't unless something changes in my current plans or situation. <laughs> oh yeah, I've already pre-ordered the, um, uh, the physical deluxe edition. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually really excited for it. So the fun fact is actually Yoshi P is the developer on that, which he's the same lead developer for uh, 14. So. Okay. Okay. All right. Tornado that deals local pollution. Okay. 
We'll set toward. I, I have not. I'm not super big on Diablo, um, and I and I didn't have a chance to get into the beta either. I've been playing a lot of 14 again more recently since they dropped another patch content, um, and I've been. Um, I'm actually pretty close. I finally leveled up, max leveled all my tanks. I've still got a fair number of DPS classes to work through, though. Um, but I started working on those recently. Uh, currently working on revolving between Black Mage and Red Mage at the moment. Since I've got a lot of casting gear saved up from when I was playing the main story as Summoner. Uh... I don't know which is... Nice. Okay, cool. What are you most excited for about 16? Yeah. It reminds me a lot of uh, Devil May Cry, which I think that makes sense because I think part of the development team is borrowed from Devil May Cry, but I'm not sure on that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I bet. Yeah, I'm really excited for everything about that one, about 16, because I'm sure the story is going to be awesome. The, the gameplay is probably going to be really fun. And the trailers are kind of all over the place, so it'll be interesting to see where they go with this all the way. And which, especially, <coughs> sorry there, which uh, summons they decide to bring in. It seems like they've got a lot of the classic ones. Yeah, and for one of them, I think I saw Hades, actually, is one of them, but I'm not entirely sure. I think Garuda is one for sure. Yeah, it almost looked like that was, like, an evolution of Titan in that trailer. Like, somehow, like, there was the normal Titan summon that they had, but then there was also like, some like super titan for lack of a better way of putting it and he had like, three little kinkadora tails what, I, what I'm wondering if with that is if it's gonna be like you're gonna have your normal like attacks as like a summon, but then also you're gonna have like cutscene level like summon attacks. And if that's what that was, where they enter like a heightened state, but I don't know. interested to see how the difficulty spikes on this because I know in Kingdom Hearts some of the difficulty spiking is on the Kingdom Hearts one the difficulty spiking was kind of crazy when you go to the harder levels of the stages the harder versions of them I'm talking too much <laughs> I lost whoops I didn't die though that's okay oh they all turned to frogs they're all frogs <laughs> Ah, we still got the normal S, so that's not bad. Oh, we still got a new bill. Oh, Leviathan, hello. Alright, let's see. Oh, now I have access to multi battle. I guess we can see what multi battle is. I'm 
gonna add it. Oh. I have not. What is blue protocol? Okay. Huh. Oh, I think I might have seen something about that a while ago. Yeah, when is that going live? Okay. Okay. Huh, interesting. All right. Right. All right, we got another title. All right. Yeah, I'll have to definitely check that out for... Oh, wow. Right, so kind of like the 24 mans from Final Fantasy XIV then. Okay. So, oh. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. Yeah. So, we got another title key. So, we can unlock another series worth of songs here. Um, unfortunately, you can't actually unlock whichever one you like. Apparently, they're either like difficulty locked or something. Right now, I can unlock Final Fantasy 2, 5, 7, 13, or 15. So if anyone in chat has any preference for which one they'd like us to check out, uh, let me know. Because we got, we got 2, 5... 7, 13, and 15 that we can unlock here. Yeah, I like 7 too. Let's go with 7. 7's seven. got a lot of iconic music to it. So now I think what we'll... Yep, oh wow! That was a lot of characters. <laughs> now I wonder if what I can do here, I wonder. Can I mix and match? Or is it locked to... All the, or if it's locked to the series that you're in. Okay. Oh, it looks like I can use the 14 characters. So if I... Yeah, I can, I can perfectly mix and match here. Okay, so Barrett's a defense type. Okay, so he's a frontline tank there. Heavy fire damage exchange for lowering his strength. Okay. Protector of the planet. He can drastically strengthen the party at the cost of increasing damage taken. Oh, that's kind of risky. Uh, but I mean, I guess as long as you're not missing notes, you should be fine, I'd imagine. So they each got different kind of... Okay. I see. So that's interesting. Alright, so let's see here. 
Let's go back to the other thing so if we can see what this multi-match is, multi-battle is. Oh, I unlocked something else there too. Profile cards. Okay, so many... Oh wait, no, that's just what they're talking about. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so it looks like it's online multiplayer, so you can pick a character, it looks like, maybe? And then you pair up with other people, and then you can play as a party in that four-person room. So that's interesting. Yep, so as online multiplayer. It doesn't seem to have local single player like the Kingdom Hearts one did, but it does seem to have local, I mean, online multiplayer with up to three other people. So let's see here. Yeah, sure, why don't we... We can do one of either the first couple of seven here. So let's rotate... Um, I don't think I have. I think I saw my dad play some of, I want to say three, but I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, that's good. So is that is is that all the way out or is that like a demo or Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Okay. Um actually let's see with let's switch in healer stola. Just to make sure nothing bad happens. Okay, so Paeon, Regen, and an Ethereal Pulse all seem to have a healing effect. So we'll start with opening bombing mission. Okay, yeah, I'm familiar with that one, with that song. Okay. Which is interesting. So this is actually the classic Final Fantasy VII set. They actually have a separate stage set for the remake. Which I thought was kind of interesting, which makes sense though, because it does have all remastered music and stuff, so... I thought that was kind of interesting. I'm sure the class system here is going to become more important though as I get into the later levels of the game or into the higher difficulty levels. There's the ice lady. Hello, Shiva. Oop, yay, extra healing. So we're also halfway through. Dang it. I just tried to hit a button for my stick swipe. Good to see you still is keeping everyone healthy.
It'd be nice to have Rama, but... Because that way I could make use of that Thunder weakness, but... <sighs> Alright, let's see how we did. SS, I know I didn't get the full chain because I kept on trying to hit the button for the stick swipes. Alright. Oop. Oh, that's cool. The title screen for... Yeah. Alright. Let's see here. Now we got some skills to unlock. Alright. Dash. Brawler. Oh. And protect. What's this one do? Okay. That's cool. All right, and then weak against fire, huh? So in that case, we can equip. Oh, what did I unlock, Alexander? Hello, Alexander. Wait. Ah, I see. So each of the summons have sub abilities. And you can have multiples of each summon that have different sub-abilities. I see. Okay, let's throw that out. We can, we can see how this goes. Alright, battle begins. One of the most iconic... Fa Final Fantasy battle themes out there. So we got Tifa and Barrett up front. She kind of does. Tifa does look a little bit funny as a GB character. They all kind of look a little funny as their little all chibi selves. <laughs> Vincent with his little chibi pistol. Yep, yep. <laughs> they do kind of look like the little keychain people you would get at like a shop or something. <laughs> oh, hello Phoenix. You are very big. Halfway through. boss part of it, which is why I quit the giant fire summon, because they're weak to fire. to get one of them, huh? Hey, perfect chain, though. I'll take that. And the victory fanfare. Alright, he unlocked fire, first strike, and store. You damn cat. Barrett, what cat are you talking about? Yeah, I didn't get any guard scorpions. Uh, okay, let's see. We can give Vincent some fire. Oh, hi, Rano. Um, put some fire on there. All right. Uh, let's see here. Let's...
is massive more than heavy? Sure. Uh, since I don't have lightning, let's go with that. Okay. You know, I bet Tifa and Ida would get along. Two girls just punching their way through the world. <laughs> the motorcycle chase music which I mean it's called the chase so I suppose that makes sense there we go gentle little curve there we go I'm just glad that the double ones don't move. <laughs> yet, yeah, at least. Swipe. Hey, there we go. Let me sleep. Vincent, I think you slept long enough. Yeah, nope, I'm gonna have to equip that. Prima Vista, that's... That's a Dane's airship from 9, I think. Yep, Tantalus Theater Troop ship. Okay, yeah. I was right. I was questioning myself a little bit. Ugh. Gravity. Deals damage equaling one-tenth of the enemy's max HP. Fair. 50% at this level would probably be a bit much. Store. Alright. There we go. Let's see. Resists lightning. Allies deal double physical damage. So we're going to want some physical hitters here. So let's swap for cloud here. You know what, we can go back a bit and we can hit this again, get the triple S and the full chain. Throw on the gold growth egg. And we'll edit this out, edit this quick. Put Vincent in there. Uh, actually, might as well throw an Aerith. That way she can get some XP, too. Well, if this follows the story, that wouldn't ultimately matter. <laughs> Joking, of course. Well, only a little. Da, da. 
I'm not sure what the Moogle is doing. He just seems to float around. Which I suppose that's what most Moogles do, so... If I actually had been able to unlock these in chronological order, I probably would have stopped with, started with one. Wow, I am. I talked and all of a sudden I messed up everything. Oh, hello, Alexander. Okay. Yep, you have a good night. Talk to you later. Ten misses, oh dear. And somehow still did more. All oh, right, let's see here. Let's try that again, see if we can get that full chain. All right, so I that, 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 that. doing tonight anyone got any exciting plans for the weekend So for y'all in chat, what's your favorite Final Fantasy title out of the series here? For those of you that played them. What's your guys' favorite titles from the Final Fantasy series? I personally am a big fan of 14. So I'm looking forward to doing 13's music in this game because I really do enjoy the music from 13. That was one of the best things about 13 was its soundtrack. 
Alright, and we got the full chain, I think. Unless I just absolutely spaced out off that. Nope, we got it. Okay, perfect chain. There we go. And that gave us some more levels on Aerith there and Cloud. So let's see. We can equip all three of those. Armor Break, Arrow Blade, Cure, Prey, and Sinui Etude. That does not sound pleasant, but it's a healing... No, it's a strength buff. Chi Blast, alright, Sander Monk, Brace Defense, yep, okay. Let's see. I think we got mostly physical fighters in the party. Let's turn off the gold growth egg for now. And take on this boss fight. That we will, Cloud. We will do as we wish. Missing. Keep zoning out. So we got through Reno once, and we're about halfway through. We might be able to get it more than once in this one. I think this was actually what it said the next boss was. I don't remember fighting any ruby weapon. Hey, we a bit early in the game for ruby weapon? Ruby weapon, what are you doing here? Get out of here. Go home. You're drunk. Well, we actually took some damage that time, though. Shell Mirage and Great Gospel. Alright. Let's see. Okay, bye, Reno. Oh. Oh, the main theme, okay. But let's take a look here. Shell. Okay, we'll trade Shell for Brace, because I don't think we're at the point where we quite need Brace yet. Brawler. Earns a battle where it's 50% chance of success. Um, we'll keep it as is now. Or they're the same. She got a new one though. Great gospel clone resource 40% when enough triggers are hit. Um, we'll trade Prey for Great Gospel right now, because that'll probably be a little bit more consistent healing. Heavy fire damage. You know, let's equip Ifrit. Let's go back and run this one. And, oh, 
Which series quest did you start with first? I started with Final Fantasy XIV. So, because I've been playing 14 for a long time now, and I decided to start with 14. Uh, and then this is the second one I've unlocked with 7 here. How about you? Have you played the game at all? Uh, that's not what I was going to change. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Do I only... Yep, I only have the two on him. So let's just slap one of those on. And welcome to chat. Oh wow. Yeah, I just started today, so... I decided to start with 14. Okay, that makes sense. I was debating between 14 and 2, because... It's either go in chronological order, or... Or release order, I suppose. Or just pick one. And since I couldn't start with one, I just decided to start with 14 instead. Okay, I bought the premium edition on here, so I think that came with all of the season passes. Though I haven't done anything with that yet, I figured I'd play through the series quest first. And also, I looked at the streaming rules, and some of the tracks that you can play in the music mode are banned from being played on stream. So, I was going to try and steer away from those a little bit. been paying attention. I don't know if I've run into one of the guard scorpions that are not yet in this stage. I have not cleared 14 yet. I just started working with the 7 stuff because I figured it, 7 was a bit more popular and thought that since the music was a bit more iconic than 14 it might be a little bit more entertaining for some people who are just passing through. But I know 14 has a pretty large fan base, and it does have some really good music too. I just know 7's really iconic here. Let's see, we got a new thing for him here. Let's see. Okay, added cut. Yeah, that would it, that does seem like a bit of a shame. So all the do you so you unlock some characters for clearing them for some of them, but I guess fourteen doesn't have any. That's kind of sad because it would have been cool to see someone like Zeno, Sky, or Yatsu. Yeah, especially Zeno since he kind of plays a more important role as the story of fourteen continues. Um. Let's, let's, let's trade store there for added cut. Dark attack. Yeah, dark attack is probably a bit more cons convenient than... Uh... Alright. Alright, um, and we still weren't able to get to a guard scorpion in that one, so I'm probably gonna have to hold up on hold off on that one. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, let's get another let's see if we can get another key out of this one quick and then we'll see about going back to Yeah, we just gotta clear this one and then we'll get another key it looks like. 
Oh wow, this one's a lot shorter compared to 14, so yeah, I must go quite a ways into 14 then. I don't know how far it goes into the story. Okay, 15 does have Aranea, not Arden. 7 has Sephiroth, okay. 11 doesn't have even... Yeah, I don't know a whole lot about 11. Pretty much everything I know is from the Dissidia Opera Amina phone game. But some of the characters from that do seem interesting, and it is kind of odd knowing what I know that they didn't include Kamlin out there, Eldenarch. If I butchered those pronunciations... I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's see, okay. Uh, let's... Swap. Switch positions there, thank you. Then I'll put Aerith in the back there. Alright. Okay, it goes all the way up to Shadowbringers, okay. I figured it wouldn't be Endwalker, just because of how new it is and compared to when the and about when this game came out. So I figured that might have been the case. I didn't realize they were going to get far enough to get to Shadowbringers. So that'll be... I'm excited to see where that goes. Okay, as a 13 rep. Okay. Is it Sid? Oh, I guess that's kind of... Whoops. Oh dear. Yeah. Though they are kind of almost one-off characters, though. They only appear a couple times, and then you only... Well, I guess you technically deal with Dysley twice. But I guess you also only deal with Sid once, so... Yeah, even, even not even in the extended 13 Universe songs, they didn't include him. That's kind of interesting. Wow, I am messing up all the things. Oh dear, my controller is dying. Yeah, it should last in a song. <laughs> That would be kind of insane. <laughs> it's just way too big. <laughs> oh, okay. Ugh. Although I never did beat 13. I, it's kind of one of my small regrets about Final Fantasy. Is I, I got to the planes in uh, the open world segment of 14. And... After that, I just, I either stalled out or something else came out. Probably, he probably is. He's probably also the most, one of the more iconic boss fights from the game. I feel like. Okay, we got Rama, that's cool. Okay, now we have a lightning summon so we can get a little bit of lightning damage out for those lightning stages. All right, we got another title key. Oh dear, the welcoming ceremony. That mini game. <laughs> it was a rhythm game in of itself, and then Cosmo Canyon. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Alright. Okay, so I wonder, does clearing... Really? They don't use any of the Seath enemies. That... I feel like that makes it kind of tricky for 13, because I feel like... <laughs> you fight them a lot. They must focus more on the automatons and the uh, and the more bestial enemies. Okay, Furion, Maria, Guy, Leon, and Minwu. We got the Psycom. Oh yeah, Psycom. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, let's 
see, we'll, we'll move to four, back to 14. I do like my 14 music, and we were just about to get to Ifrit song too, so there we go, let's... All right, weak to ice. Emperor, okay, that makes sense. Then one is probably, uh, that's Garland, if I, if they have a villain rep. Probably be Garland. Yeah. Twelve? Gabranth, probably, if I had to guess. No, that's not where she was. That's where the Ingrid was. Ida was there. Uh, we had Alphano in the front. Okay. No vein. Okay, yep. Oh, and then we don't want... We don't want to throw Ifrit at Ifrit. Wait. They didn't even change the Ifrit model to match the 14 Ifrit. Right. Okay, that makes sense. So in his weird... Uh, Super Saiyan form, yeah. Uh, then I'm trying to think. Three would probably be Cloud. Would be Cloud of Darkness. Uh, four. Yep. Four would be uh, Drag. Uh, why can't I think of his name now? Uh. Too many G names in Final Fantasy. Golbez, yep, yep, yep. Him and his Shadow Dragon. Five, X Death. Seven, Sephi. Oh, it has both of. has Gilgamesh and X Death, okay. Six, Kefka, that makes sense. I skipped six. Yeah, you're right. I skipped six. Why did I skip six? It would probably be Ultimecia and, and Cypher, I'd imagine. Or maybe just Cypher. I don't know. Oh, okay. He's one of the starters for eight, nine, Kuja. Yep. Oh, Jim. 10, Jim Seymour and Jack, okay. 11, you said didn't have one. 12 is Gabranth. 13, you said had Sid. 14 doesn't get a villain rep, unfortunately. 15 would have to be Arden. And they don't have 16. And then for the sub games, I have even less knowledge about. <laughs> Oh yeah, 15 has RNA, yeah. You're right, I forgot. Huh. That's interesting. Cool that they made it into a base title then for this one. I didn't get the perfect chain, unfortunately. Saga Frontier Music. Okay, so that, yeah, I think that was one of the DLC tracks I, I did. Hello, Marigari. Welcome to the chat. All right, uh, let's see. Did I finish the quest on it at least? I did. Uh, how badly do I want? Okay. That's cool. That's glad I'm like you, glad you like this game. Did they already release some near tracks, I thought? So I thought I... Okay, thanks for stopping in. 
Oh, okay, so some of the other near tracks. Okay, not on. Okay, gotcha. Oh, that's cool. And these linked held ones are kind of a pain. That makes sense. No, you're all good. We're just glad to have you here. Oh, that's cool. That's interesting. I mean, it kind of makes sense, similar enough designs, but interesting they didn't give him a unique model. Oh yeah, the near tracks are really nice. The near automatic tracks are really nice. Unfortunately, I don't remember if any of them were on the uh, stream ban list, so I'm a little bit afraid. Oh, not Gaius, I meant uh, Gabrant. Sorry. No, not Gabrant. Guy, wait. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so he does appear as Sukuyomi as a boss. Okay, that's cool. Next, okay. Understandable. Understandable. Also, he has a very, very punchable face. Yeah, we'll switch that in. Yeah. Let's see. Brawler, Chibo, Venom, Buster. When a boss enemy appears. Alright. That might... Is that the... We'll keep Demolish. Let's switch in Venom Buster there. It'll lower her overall damage output, but that's okay. Uh, Swiftness. Okay, that's a good one to have. Yeah, I'll, I think I'll take that one. Alright. A little bit more reliable than Mana Seed. <laughs> Sounds good. Glad. Thank you for the follow. Let's head straight into Titan here. No weaknesses. Makes sense. Ooh, who would I want to see? Ooh. As a big 14 fan, um, either the Warrior of Light, which mechanically would be an absolute nightmare to develop. To develop. Um, but I think... 
otherwise, I think of the Scions, Thancred would have made a nice addition as, or Zidane actually, probably as like a rogue type. Um, Gaius would have been really interesting, but his play kit would probably be kind of similar to Sephiroth with the whole similar weapon style. I think Zidane would probably have to go be my pick, because I just like Zidane's character arc in 9. How about you? Is, do you have a go-to pick that you would have picked? He absolutely would. Lightning, yeah, I can see lightning. Lightning would be very interesting to see too. Those are the two things I actually really liked about 13 were the character designs and and the music. <laughs> he would indeed. Yup. Honestly, I was talking about this with my brother the other day. I was saying that they should, thought Square Enix should drop the Dissidia series, reach out to HAL Laboratories, and be like, yo, we need a fighter, and a, re a fighter, a platform fighter like Smash would be awesome. And we want you guys to develop that. And just have a Final Fantasy version of Smash. And it would just be beautiful. Of course, though, that will never happen. But, it'd be nice to see it. Bahamut! That is the weirdest looking iteration of Bahamut I have seen. That, yeah. I mean, K Kuja's kit. Oh, that'd be, that would be a very interesting kit. Deals heavy damage to enemies with devastating fire. And I don't have to worry about resistances then. All right. Engage. Oh, that must be Heaven's Word, or we're already to Heaven's Word. Okay. Or, no, Garuda. Garuda. What am I talking about? What is I think I was already to Heaven's Word. Jeez. Where's your head at, sir? Also, Alpha No just totally ripping off Star Trek. Just being like, Enterprise, engage! Pulling off a, uh, uh, Picard. Yeah, that tracks. And then if she got in, I could see them doing... If they were to do a rival character like they did with Cloud bringing Sephiroth in, I could see them putting in... Uh, oh dear. Um, either Caius... That's his name, right? From 2? Or I don't know who the final boss of Lightning Returns is. Oh, that's the weird name that was recently brought up in Opera Amina. Okay. Behoven Nivra or whatever. 
<laughs> he absolutely butchered that pronunciation. <laughs> Or at least to the chapter I'm in in Abra Amina, which is Act 3, Chapter 10. Because I've been lax on my story playing of that. Unavels, yeah. Probably. I don't know what it looks like, but if it's anything like Orphan, then probably. Or at least the iteration of Orphan I'm thinking of from the end of Original 13. Why did I... That's a swipe at the end there. What am I doing? Ugh. Yeah. So yeah, probably Caius. Then they'd probably go with Caius. <laughs> Mod costumes. Uh, I suppose that's why there's the little thing there. Yeah. Probably. Probably. Her or Ho him or Hope. Or both. You can see Hope's boomerang being really annoying. Him just jumping around throwing his boomerang. Ha <laughs> ha Actually, Snow could be a me costume for Brawler, me Brawler. And then, well, we already have Barrett for me, Gunner. And then Saz for Gunner, yeah. Yeah, it is a little weird. But I'm guessing they're taking that from the Lightning Return stuff. Again, all I know about that is from Opera Amina, but... That was kind of an interesting pick. And I love how they have uh, Xenos in NT, but they don't have them in Opera Amina yet. They actually have zero villain reps from 14 in Opera Amina. Yeah, that is a little unfortunate. I've only played a little bit of Brave Exvius, but when I have played, the music's been pretty good. Yeah, that tracks. Either Rain or the uh, other level-headed one. Or I'm getting them mixed up in my head, which one is which. It's been a minute since I've played Brave XVS at all. I'm going to be on mute for a little bit, guys, so I hope... We do have Chocobo Dungeon music. I'm going to be on mute for a little bit. Uh, the house is going to get a little loud for a little bit, so enjoy the music while I shut up for a while. <laughs>
All oh, right, here we're back. I'll have to go on mute again here. Not too soon, but clear without restoring HP. Uh, do I have all my restorative skills off? Um, arrow and arrow, spiritual ray. Nope, energy drain heals. Um, tornado. There we go. Yeah, that should be all the healing, so. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. It really is just the nightmare before Mog Christmas. Except it's Mogs. Moogles. Evil. Tiny. Fluff balls. Though this fight actually isn't too hard, though, in the game. Just this song. It doesn't end. And it really is just the Nightmare Before Christmas. I don't know how they got away with that. It's classified under parody, maybe? I think so. Maybe not like the Extreme or Savage. I haven't really done any rating on 14, like the high tier rating. Noctis, be quiet. Yes, my dog is named Noctis. And that much of a Final Fantasy night. Ah. Right? I I feel like by now they would have had to have done it. I don't as I said, I don't know how they got away with doing this. If it's on their parody or just something is different enough. Oh no, I messed up. But like I guess maybe if they don't monetize the song specifically, I don't know how that works. Oh I messed up again. Yeah, it is a little weird. Like, they could just make a really big Moogle model. Well, I've never seen a double diagonal before yet. It's my first time seeing those. Delta attack. No, bad bouncers. Bad bouncers. We don't like bouncers. Those things were the bane of my existence in Crisis Core. Evil little bounty balls. Movers? Oh, those ones are movers. Okay. Yeah, you're right, movers. Why did I call them bouncers? Are they called something different in Crisis Core? I don't think they are. I think you're right. Oh. I did? I was absolutely just clicking through those. <laughs> And unfortunately, three is one of the ones I haven't played, and I don't, I don't remember. Does it have a pixel remaster? I think three has a pixel remaster, but I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, I think I. Okay. I might have, I might have the pixel remaster then, but I haven't played it yet. I've been working my way through them. I've played. Four, and I'm on six at the moment. Yeah, okay, so that must... Is that the Garuda model they use for uh, the Garuda fight for this one, then? Right. 
this one here. That is definitely not 14. <laughs> okay, yeah. Because that is that that is definitely not the 14 Garuda. <laughs> Are you excited for Final Fantasy 16, Dark Sign? Ah, okay. So you have to use dragoons to fight them, okay. Because... Oh, uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh dear, this one is fast. Yeah, that is kind of unfortunate. Dang exclusives. Leviathan, why are you so fast? But yeah, Leviathan's theme is fun. Trying to make sure you don't fall off the arena. But I think that's only in the, the hard and extreme. No, because the base fights are hard, so I think that's only in the extreme version of the trial. That you can actually fall off. Oh, hi, Leviathan. Hi, Rama. Um, I don't think anything really intentional. I've seen gotten some people who are just like kind of toxic, but I don't think I've gotten anyone who's, like, intentionally trying to cause problems. I've had a couple people who just seem like they straight up don't know how some of the mechanics work, and might just mean they're new to the fight. I generally like to try and give people the benefit of the doubt when it comes to that kind of stuff. And I'm guessing I probably don't run into it as much since I don't do, like, the high tier rating and stuff, so... I feel like I run into that a bit less than someone who might do some of the higher end stuff. Or maybe I've just been lucky. Yeah. I know. I mean, I know I've seen stories like that where people have gone and had to do like raids for a thousand times longer than they should have had to, or just people who just trigger the insta wipe mechanic every time they can. But I have been lucky enough not to come across that personally yet. Imperil and Aroga. All right, we'll have to check. Power plus. I'll have to check what those skills do. Let's see. Ultima is the next song, okay. Aurora, swap that out for Aroga. She, we don't really, hopefully, need any healing, really. I haven't gotten to the point where it really feels like I need healing. And Spongebob is stealing an item from the enemy. If we switch Dark Attack for Mug, I think. Cheer. Okay, so damage up. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. Attribute resistance? Okay, that's interesting. Swiftness. Okay. Let's see, if we put in peril on there, that might help some. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotcha. I figured. I don't really have any heavy burst characters. Like, if 
I were to level up Vincent, it seems like he might be able to. If I were to throw in Vincent and then maybe... Maybe a Vincent and Red in there somewhere. That could put my damage output a fair bit higher, but... Okay. That makes sense. Uh, Kingdom, the Kingdom Hearts Rhythm game did the same kind of thing. And this is just a modified... Well, actually it's just a modified version of these games, so... Let's see, boss enemies have double HP? Jeez, okay. Yeah, I see what you mean now. Um, we probably don't need Rama. We'll throw on Bahamut since it probably doesn't have any elemental weakness. I don't. Yeah, it doesn't have a specific weakness. So we'll just see if we can clear the basic first here. Get the perfect chain. Oh, okay. Yup. Can't have the Iron Giants around. Gotta smack them good. I actually really do like this theme though, this the Ultima Fight theme. And the changes they made to the Ultima Fight 2 for when they revamped it for Endwalker was really nice too. Go, Iron Giants down. There's Gabranth, who is Gaius. Go away, fake Gaius. You're not real. I am blinded. I should have equipped Bankrate's blind now. I'm not even going to get through Gabranth here. So they're all blind. Oh, now they're not blind. That's good. Oh! Bahamut's, Bahamut's got him. Long note. I hit both buttons. What are you doing to me? Here we go. Really long help note. That's not Ultima. But we did get through Gaius. Yeah. I do like that in the DLC stuff they do have Zero from Type Zero. Because that actually introduced me to Bump of Chicken, who is one of my favorite J-Rock slash J-Pop bands. Well, I got Ultima and Rubic Rub Rubicante. Trial. All right, nice. Okay, nice. All right, let's see. All right, we didn't get the full chain. Did appear in Call, but only in Japan's DLC. Oh, that's kind of unfortunate. Oh, oh Oblivion. There we go. That's what we need. But. Let's see, I'll save that one to, for later to try and perfect chain. Did I perfect chain that one? I did, okay. Oh no, 
I uh, hit the wrong button there. Did anyone level up? No. Okay. Well, they did probably level up, but... Uh, okay, so now we're into the newer stuff. Got it. We'll do the field music first. Alright. Triggers are judged a bit more harshly. Ultima from Tactics in this game is clear, okay. Okay, they're judged more harshly because it's a slower tempo song, I see. So they're like, it's slow. You can hit these, right? There we go. Heaven's are the tiny in the song wakes me up. Oh, okay, that's cool. Well, that's gonna be an interesting song to get through. Do you know if they got through Shadowbringer patch content or or just uh, through base Shadowbringer? Uh, okay. Working on it. Yep. Gonna blast it to pieces. Ah. Dang it. Ugh. You stole it. You needed to punch harder. Well, I did miss the. Oh, I only had one bat. Dang. It's just like, uh, one bat. How annoying. Two or more treasure chests. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what a Dice of Darg is. Oh, hello, Iron Giant. Ink Long Dry. Ooh, that's a good track. Alright. Um... Alright, wait. Oh, yeah, we gotta equip Ifrit here. Let's switch Tornado out for Energy Drain. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, Tactics is unfortunately, as much as I do want to play it at some point, it's hard to find a good copy of it sometimes. So my lore knowledge on tactics is a bit rough. Um, what was I doing? Swiftness, I think. Uh, I'll keep in peril though. And peril's useful, I feel like. It's a quest to beat Bashida, okay. And luckily Ida's got some fire damage attacks too, so that should help. Right, yeah. I I can't help but I I don't think I've actually seen that spirit, so I wonder how have. Oh, actually, I probably have seen it, but I wonder if they uh, censored it some. 
Well, they start with the version that's after the halfway point of the fight, too, so the lyric part. Ha, <laughs> nice. This track always reminds you of the world ends with you. Okay, the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yeah, I think that's luckily one of the more tamer versions, I think, so... But yeah, this track always reminds me of The World Ends With You. Ah. Yeah, you're right. It's Rama, Bahamut, Odin, Ifrit. Can't think of there are any others. Oh yeah, Leviathan appears on the stage, yep. Ooh, good question. I feel like probably the soldiers, like the Midgar soldiers, that or like Tom Berries or something. Oh wait, no, I'm thinking of Subspace Emissary. Smash Run. Yeah, that tracks. Oh, I got a reward, Alexander. Yeah, I'll have to definitely probably go back at some point to some of these once I clear it on simp on the basic here. True, we could have. Though bayonetta enemies are a bit more uh risque, shall we say. <laughs> Then again, Bayonetta herself, if that was a concern. <laughs> oh, true. Yeah, you're right. I don't go to Umber Clock Tower very often, so... I forget about that. True. Jazzish track. Oh, I went too fast. What the heck? Track assist was not, uh, Oh, is that the Kingdom Hearts Terra? Is it one of the Kingdom Hearts spirits? Uh, 
Okay. Huh. I guess that kind of makes sense. Chrom's a bit faster than Terra would probably be, but... <laughs> that that kind of makes sense. Ugh. Eh, I could have done better on that one, but I'll take it. Cecil CG art. Oh, okay. So, here's a loaded question. Do you pronounce it Cecil or Cecil? <laughs> True. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I say that. Cecil as well, yeah. Well, that's what I said there, so yeah. That's my natural inclination to say Cecil. Cecil, 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 Cecil. <laughs> Ominous prognostics. Okay, yeah, that's just the that's the Heavensward boss theme. Yeah. Resists. Tiamat from Five Fancy One. Okay, so that's what that is. Let's see. What was I? I was gonna swap that out for Bahamut. Okay, yeah. Uh, no Merolithic Kraken, okay. Now they pull from a wider range of things for this, but they do seem to decide to leave. Okay, that's cool. Defeat 11 or more enemies. Whew! Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay. I don't have poison equipped. I'll have to remember. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I haven't played it, but I think I know who you're talking about. Oh, hello, fake Nate Hog. Okay. Actually, this probably isn't fake Nate Hog. It's probably one of the other various dragon bosses of Heaven Ward. I got a shiny. Oh, yeah. That is kind of that is a weird song to leave out, seeing as how it's the main theme for Heaven's Word. That is kind of maybe they just decided it was too. Oh, King Thornton, which I think is being represented by the Knights of the Round Summon, or an iteration of. Which I mean, they're kind of based on. 
Okay, yep. Which, I mean, that's what Thornton and his knights are based around in the... in 14 anyway, so that makes sense. What's the quest? Defeat the boss knights of the round. Okay. And they're resistant to all physical damage. And now I deal health damage with magic abilities. So they're resistant to everything. <laughs> okay. The two other champions of the Black Knight performs to object to art. Okay, yeah. Ooh, the background for this one is nice. And that knit Alex's eye in the background is a nice touch. Okay. That's cool. He is This fight isn't hard, just mechanically loaded. Okay. That's cool that they added even Bahamas in from Crisis. From Advent Children in here. Oh wow. Oh yeah, I think I remember seeing that. Seeing that title, yeah. I don't think we've even seen the Knights of the Round yet. Oh, there they are. Of course, Bahamut appeared. <laughs> we barely even got to the boss, much less beat it. Jeez. Ugh. And we even got the perfect chain on it yet. Oy. Oh man, I know I didn't get the as many rainbow criticals as I would have liked, but okay, I got a rare Stola card and a, a super rare Heroes card. You know, they haven't gotten a... Oh, hello, Laguna. Yeah, I know. You don't gotta tell me. Alright. Here we go. Alright, so... Okay, so Alexander. <laughs> Exponential entropy, okay, nice, nice, nice. Oh, they have the 13 Wormtail thing, I forget what that's called. This will take Locus, Infinite Entropy, and then Alexander. I'm surprised they haven't. Manus, yeah, Warmech, yep. Manus and Warmech. I knew it was from 13, I just couldn't remember what they were called. Yup. And then it makes a reappearance on the lake. And then I think they appear again later in the game. Yeah, that would be cool if they had included Bartandalus. 
instead of just orphan. Interesting that they said to go with an iteration of Atlas instead of, you know, actually Alexander. That seems like another weird substitution, too. A little bit, yeah. Dark Buster, Aroga, Descending Iron, Tornado. Knights of the Round Summon, okay. It must be a little behind where it thinks I should be. No, oh, there's, okay, there's Alexander. Uh, I guess, yeah, because that's not the Alexander fight theme, that's a different fight theme. So I guess it makes sense that I thought it would wait till there to actually do Alexander. They must really either shorthand Stormblood or something. If they get all the way to Shadowbringers. Okay. So they must they must shorthand shadow bring her then, yeah, that makes sense. What's a quest? Hit enemy weaknesses four or more times. Well, unfortunately, we don't have any lightning skills out of this. Venom attack. Discerning eye. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Um, discerning. What was it? Like? Okay, it must have been her that had Dark Buster. Yeah, okay. Actually, we should have one repeatable attack. Although she's not going to be able to do much damage. Let's go with Venom Attack. Um, oh dear. <laughs> Aurora for Aroga. We use this magic, okay. Um, when enough triggers are hit, okay. Touch and slide triggers are hit. Uh, I feel like a narrow is probably more effective than adding another attack to her. Maybe not. Oh wait. Uh, we can throw Rama in for good measure, just to hope it helps. Alright. Oh dear! <laughs> that is, uh, mildly concerning.
<laughs> Him and his chicken. Which is only a chicken and 14, but. Hello, this is a giant green gargoyle. Oh, that's cool. Makes sense, so if they've got Gilgamesh, they almost have to bring Enkidu with them. Yup. Final Fantasy VI Magic Tech Armor. Luckily, Rama made short work of him. That would be great. If he appears in four, that would be kind of cool. Have him appear out of nowhere. Just completely out of place. That would be kind of funny. <laughs> that would be kind of cool too, though. Battle of Big Bridge. It really is a good song. Ugh. All right, and unfortunately, with that, I think we're gonna have to end our stream for today. Thank you to everyone who stopped in. <laughs> that he won. Uh, but thank you everyone for stopping in today. Thank you for talking in chat. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed your time here and that everyone has a good night. And this is Legendary's Gamer Le Legendary Gamer's Ledge signing off. Oh dear, that's not the button I meant to hit. Let's see. There's the button. Alright, everyone have a good night. And game out.